do not move to nigeria don't get me wrong i was born and raised here but then i have my reasons and i'm gonna share with you why you should not move to nigeria lagos precisely <music> So I'm going to be using Lagos as my point of contact because basically I am saying in Lagos right now the number one factor why you shouldn't move over here is traffic. Traffic in Lagos is mad. It can give you migraine. It is literally the worst traffic I've seen in my life. I've not been to many countries but at least I've been to a, a few. I haven't seen even even in states in Nigeria I haven't seen any traffic to compare to what is happening here in lagos lagos traffic is mad you can you can literally leave office at 5 p.m and get home at 12. yes i i said it 12. as in traveling from one place to another in lagos traffic is like traveling from the west stand part of nigeria to the eastern part of nigeria that is literally true so this is why i said you shouldn't move to nigeria if you're not going to be adapting to the traffic system you're not going to be waking up early in the morning for example if you are going to work if you are, if your office resumes at eight you are supposed to leave your house at five six so it, in other parts of the states in nigeria you know this um hen cock fowl whatever they call it it wakes people from sleep but in lagos human being wake animals from sleep that is how bad it is so the first one is traffic traffic here is literally mad let me just hop on to the next second one the second one job opportunities forget it people say ah see the population in lagos in nigeria is bigger than every other state in nigeria and so many people come into this place every day seeking for greener pasture and job opportunities some people i don't some people like asians indians uh, pakistan there are some people can move into move to nigeria to search for jobs and everything well i don't know how they do that but there is literally not enough job opportunity for we nigerians here talk more of people coming here so if you are coming here thinking you're going to get a very big job somewhere waiting for you now nah, forget it except you might have some connections certifications or something to distinguish you amongst others and then that's fine so all these things are not literally to discourage it's just for you to be aware of what you're going to meet before you move over to nigeria so that's for that yes nollywood nollywood has confused a lot of africans as in a lot you know they are when um they show movies on Nollywood. They basically act movies on Nollywood on those mansions, those big, big houses. There are so many big, big houses, many mansions, and in a particular mansion, it will just be one family staying there. My dear, I'm in Nigeria, and I'm going to tell you the truth. There, these houses exist, and I'm not telling you, it is individuals that own these houses, but don't get me wrong. Uh, let me just say what I'm going to say now. Average Nigerian does, an average Nigerian does not live in those kind of mansions you see in Nollywood. An average Ni Nigerian in in Nollywood movies lives in that kind of mansion, but in real life, it's not that way. People rent houses. A lot of people spend money to rent houses here. People people live in those mansions, obviously, but those people are not average Nigerians. They are people that they are part almost like, like the first class. class people when you rank them those people are the people that has the money but basically an average nigerian does not live in a mansion so do not let nollywood for you there an, an average nigerian does not stay in any mansion or anything of such so that would be it and the next one is friends lagos and uh, precisely nigeria in fact is very busy in lagos we are very busy there's no time to even make friends so if you are coming here or and thinking oh my god i'm gonna make friends and everything everybody is literally very very busy with their life so if you're not gonna be busy and you're gonna come here thinking you're gonna make friends of course you're gonna make friends like why won't you make friends but i think you're gonna make genuine friends it is gonna take you a very long time because everybody is literally busy so you don't know when someone is busy or when somebody is not busy and if you are the kind of type of person that you don't have what you're doing and you're bugging someone else that is busy how do you want that to work it's not gonna work so if you are if your so aim of coming here is to make friends 
man well i'm not gonna i'm not saying you're gonna you're not gonna make friends but i think you should just at least erase it from your memory you're gonna make friends but then you're gonna take time and effort because everybody's literally busy like i said people wake up at 4 30 5 o'clock and head to work and then if there is mad traffic they come back at time so when is the time when is the person gonna bond with you when is the person gonna do stuff with you so if that's in your mind do not forget to just stay where you are i mean <laughs> stay where you are so that being said about friendship let us move on over to relationship like i told you you're not easily gonna make friends so do you now think you're easily going to get someone to love you or like you when they are all busy with their life and they spend half of their day on the road or working or going to or schooling or doing whatever it is they do with their life well you will run into a few people of course you have to run into people people will like you and stuff like that but you have to be careful if you're if you're just coming here to see one's um lover boy whatever it is we have your robot demons these people will break your heart please you when i say your bad demons i'm not literally saying this this is only your bad guys that do this of course there are other people but we literally generalize them as your bad demons so that these are the people that will come to your your life and rip it apart do you know what i mean they will tear you into pieces so you know what even if you are come if you're coming here and you're thinking you're gonna see some romantic whatever and they do this kind of love they play on Hollywood. it doesn't happen like that in real life you have to like be very careful not to run into the Yoruba demons you know clan so that is basically what it is so the last one but not the this there are so many oh i'm just gonna this is just literally what i'm sharing and please i'm repeating i'm not saying this thing to discourage anybody from coming to nigeria of course nigeria is a very lovely country of course will i be talking bad about my country no i'm literally spitting out the truth you know and that is what it is so the last but not the least is you know what i mean show off and fake life hey there are literally many people living fake life than people that are real in this part of the world that is just the truth people show off in this place you will see someone that have not eaten since morning but the hand phone uh, the phone the person is literally using will, will, will feed that person for one year why because the person wants to show off amongst his or her friend do you think that is life you see someone that does not have money but her friend will be doing will be will, will want to throw a party and she will spend the last dime just to so as she be and show off that is just it so there are so much fake life show off so if you're that person that people always impress and you oh sorry if you're that person that always want to impress people you're going to spend your entire money or your entire time trying to do things that are not literally your thing which is being fake you are trying to going to buy things and do things so that you can show off and be for people to see so literally if you're running around those kind of people you're going to spend your entire time and money trying to impress them which is basically not you and that is fake and then you buy those things you literally don't have money to buy you're trying to show off when you don't even have it you see some some people will literally do some stuff fraud scan whatever it is and buy cars buy things just to show off and then you you are there thinking oh how did these people get this money i'm gonna do anything it is to get money and do those things it's gonna lure you to do even things you are not supposed to do and then i forgot about something you cannot freely operate your laptop outside your home or your house or outside the office or probably probably in a school or lab or stuff you cannot literally take your laptop to a restaurant or in a bus or anywhere in the public and operate it why because you will be arrested you'll be seen as a suspect of the yahoo yahoo thing so yahoo yahoo thing is when it's just some group of people using laptops and all to scam or do something something like that do some fraudulent acts and all that so if you are seen outside operating your laptop the police does not want, no, want to know what you are doing with your laptop they are literally going to take you to the station when you get to the station they, you will now have to battle with them either bail yourself or they go through your system some people might not literally drag you to this to the station they will have to stay there and check your system and all but just to be on the safer side do not even bother operating your laptop 
outside probably in a bus or anywhere don't bother putting your laptop in a public place because you are going to be arrested i think that doesn't make sense because you are, it's my laptop it's my phone i can easily collect it. and then if you are looking suspicious they are going to stop you and even check your phone so it is seriously seriously annoying but then they have to do what they got to do to catch those set of people so for now if you are moving to nigeria just take note of all these things like i said earlier i'm not saying this thing to discourage anybody wanting to come to nigeria nigeria is a beautiful place we have a lot of natural things god has given us god has blessed this country and has blessed the people in this country but these are just the things i feel once you know before trying to come here so you have to program your mind before coming and know that these are the do's are the don'ts and things i'm supposed to literally know so with that being said that will be it for today if you enjoyed this video do not forget to give it a big thumbs up if you aren't yet subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please hit the red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching until then bye